I'm Kendall Hibden, and this is LCRA's Tough Job. As the sun sets, these transmission linemen are preparing for an overnight assignment in Lockhart, Texas. That assignment calls for the removal and replacement of transmission towers and cables. Helping with this Herculean task are about 30 LCRA linemen. In order to reduce traffic interference and lessen the impact on the community, these linemen don't think twice when it comes time to work through the night and into the next morning. We work nights if we have to to get the job done, or we'll work late evenings while businesses are closed down so we don't interfere with their business. It's especially gratifying for this line crew to provide these services to communities in which they both live and work during hours that most of us are getting ready for bed, including me. Hey guys, have you seen Kendall? No, no. Nope. Seen him earlier. Oh, hold on, it's Kendall. Hello. The crew even found some time to poke a little fun at me on their break. Gerald, on the other hand, was chopping at the bit to put me to work. He gave me the lowdown on their progress, where to meet them in the morning, and what I should be prepared to help them with. But before I arrived the next morning to help finish up, the most challenging endeavors were just getting started. With assistance from a crane, a cherry picker, and years of experienced linemen, the heavy lifting begins with the removal of the existing 70-foot transmission tower. With the crane operator at the ready, and the structure secured, the metal eating machinery is fired up and put into action. Slowly but surely, the steel beanstalk is chopped down and secured for transport. With daybreak approaching, the linemen are prepped and ready to set the replacement towers. Daniel, Kendall. Nice to meet you, sir. How's it going? Daniel greeted me upon arrival like any good lineman would with a sledgehammer. But before putting me to work, he sent me over to Travis Powell to go over all the safety precautions of the work site. After the tailboard and a quick PPE check were complete, they sent me on my way. He's got his gloves and his glasses. I think he's ready to rock and roll. <laughs> With the tower lined up, there's only one thing left to do. It's hammer time. He's the king of the mountain. Don't judge me here, it's harder than it looks. Ah, see, y'all are pros. <laughs> Let's let Daniel show me how a seasoned pro does it. Hey, Dano, that the baseball swing? Uh, Elbow no. in? That's an oil field swing. Oh, an oil field swing. <laughs> What's the technical term for this, making them fit snug like this? I don't know a technical term. I think the technical term is snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> These linemen work on the ground end up in the sky, doing whatever it takes to get the job done right. Ryan Lowry and I went up to provide the finishing touches, tightening and securing each section of the transmission tower together. What made you want to work for LCRA? When you get on with LCRA, I mean, you, you got the opportunity to move around all over. And uh, I yep. got lucky by getting on a line crew because I love the line crew so much. I love, yep. like doing this stuff. For these linemen, the job doesn't end with the setting of the towers. Every structure, every cable, and every bolt gets inspected. These new power lines will span the distance from Lockhart to San Marcos. These vital upgrades will help support growth within the region. Not only do the crews help build new transmission lines, but they also repair damage lines and perform maintenance when needed. As for the job itself, Travis seems to enjoy it. Got into it and loved every minute of it since. Loving a job that takes hard work, odd hours, dedication, and baseball skills if you have them. All for one objective, to enhance the quality of life of the Texans we serve by keeping the lights on. Now that's what I call a tough job.